You're watching Weekend Saturdays. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Uh, alright. A little bit of a confession to make before we get into this video. Yesterday being a Friday, as always, I got asked to go into my mate at his computer business on the proviso of a cup of coffee. That's your first clue. Now this goes without saying, we all know how partial old mate is to a cup of coffee. There's your second clue. Now normally, when I come home with something, we do an old mate's tech acquisitions video. However, on the way home yesterday, I thought, you want to know something? I'm not actually going to do the video because I'm going to combine two videos into one for weekend Saturdays with old mate. So for this video, I'm going to show you what I scored and if I can fork out no money to get this going, I get to keep it. And believe it or not, it'll be used every day. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Weekend Saturdays here at Old Mates Backyard Tech and a two-pronged video in one. An Old Mates Tech Acquisitions video and a troubleshooting video. Now, I admit, like I said, a bit of a confession to make. I should have made the Tech Acquisitions video yesterday when I picked this thing up from a mate at his computer business. As we also know, you know, Old Mate goes in there most Fridays on the proviso of a cup of coffee. Let's face it, as if I'm going to turn down a cup of coffee. We know that for a fact. And if you don't know that by now, Houston, you've got a problem. So I scored this thing yesterday, bought it home. And if I can fix it without having to fork out any money whatsoever and get it going, I get to keep it for me. Now, this is... I, I personally would never have the money to get this. So to get it for free and try and fix it for free, it, well, you're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, are you? So let's not waste any more time. Let me grab the video camera, the tripod. Let's head over to our little area over behind the TV here. And let's do the tech acquisitions video and the troubleshooting video in one video. Let's get into it. Well, I really don't think I need to explain what you see on your screen, do I? I've had many, many, many coffees out of this coffee machine. This is a DeLonghi Prima Donna class. It does have Wi-Fi Connect capabilities. I got it. I also got the milk frother with it as well. And uh, the other thing I got with it also comes with one of these um, right angle style IEC plugs. Now, the, there's two reasons I've got this. Number one, my mate knew I wanted it. Number two, they bought another one. But three, this thing keeps blowing either the GFI or the circuit that, uh, I think this was on a 11 amp circuit, and it keeps blowing the circuit. Now, only a couple of reasons why that may be occurring. One possible water leak or two something's gone pear-shaped internally so before we pull the back off this I'm going to grab the multimeter we're going to spin it around 180 degrees and we're going to check for shorts between uh, active and earth and common and earth okay or neutral and earth whatever you want to describe it as we're going to find out whether there's any shorts to earth because it apparently blew, um, I can't remember whether he said it blew the GFI or just the 11 amp circuit that this thing was on. Um, and if I can get this working for free with no money down and get her up and running, this is mine. Um, I've had many, many coffees out of this. I've had a couple of cappuccinos out of this thing as well. Absolutely brilliant unit. All right. It can also make tea, which will be happy for the other half because the other half loves tea as well. She's pretty chunky, but it's DeLonghi. And uh, as I said, if I can get this going for no money down, 
I'll be very, very, very happy. You can do two cups at once. If I pull it down a bit and zoom in, oh, zoom in. You see there, it can do two cups at once, which is really good. And it can make cappuccinos as well. All right. So I guess what we need to do now is turn it around. I'll grab the multimeter and we'll check for shorts to earth. All right. I've got the multimeter set to continuity. Let's make sure it works. It does. So there should be nothing anywhere with the master power switch off. There shouldn't be. All right. So go active to neutral. Active to earth, neutral to earth, nothing. All right. So we turn the main power switch on. All right. No shorts active to neutral. No shorts active to earth. And no shorts neutral to earth. Okay. Right. So we know that there's no shorts in that. So now we've got to find out why did this thing... I think he said it blew the GFI. Uh, okay, so we have Torx head screws or security screws. So I need to find my I need to find my Torx bits. And where have they ended up? Otherwise, this whole thing's going to come to a grinding halt if I can't find my Torx. Where are they? They were in my tool bag. I may have to go hunting for them. Um, I actually don't know where they are. They were in my tool bag. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, I may have to go find them. So we know that there's no shorts here at the AC input box. So now the problem is is there a short on the other side of this? So it could be the fuse is blown or whatever, right? This thing does have a soft power on on the top. Um, but before we do anything, I'm going to have to go and find my Torx bit. Oh, hang on. You idiot. Okay. I've actually got some here with this set. So all I need to do is find my Torx style screwdriver. Uh, no, that's too big. I had something a lot smaller than that one. Tamper proof, I think they call them. Should have been that one. Too big. Good grief, how small are these screws? That's not right. Okay. Won't be metric, are they? So I've got Imperial and Metrix Torx bits here. I may need my other ones though. Good grief. Um, which I have no idea where I've put them. That's well done, old mate. You get something that needs Torx bits. What frickin' size are these frickin'? Okay, I am going to have to go and find the other ones. Alright. Well, that's a pain. I'm going to have to go and find them. Alright. Back shortly. Alright, I found them. That's just my little King Chrome Torx head bits. Try and find the right, right one here. There we go. It's a weird, weird size. Whoa. Good grief! This is in tight. I'm half expecting the possibility of what may have happened might be some water got into it the tank seal could be a little uh, a little buggered up 
I know I've got my hand. This is great, isn't it? Talking about good continuity. Freaking blocking out the camera. <laughs> uh, just deal with it. Alrighty. Oh, these are in time. I know this thing's out of warranty anyway. We'll get in and we'll, we'll see what happened. It also actually still has a full tank of coffee beans in it too. Which is interesting. Oops. Get out of it. I think the first thing, I'm, the other thing I'm going to have to do too is get the, um, get the hunk and great big water tank out of it. There it goes. The water tank does have its own um, water filter in it. And uh, yeah, she's still full of coffee beans, and you can actually, you can actually um, set the uh, how coarse or fine you want the coffee grounded. Um, I know some people don't like DeLonghi machines, and that's fine. But I know how good this coffee machine is because. I've had many coffees out of it over the years, and uh, I just can't actually see what I'm doing, can I? Because my arm, my big fat arm in the middle of the screen. And I think that's oh, it's got that one undone. Trying not to lose these Torx bits because I think if my memory's right with these things. All right, in theory, that should bring the whole thing out. There it comes. Oh, I've got one more to get out. Hang on. Let me get this one out. Apparently, everything here, it's all in the back of this, all right? Everything's in the back cover. What's interesting to note was that it blew why this didn't have, or why this doesn't have an internal fuse. My mate was quite surprised about that, that it blew the circuit rather than an internal fuse. Now, I would have thought these things would have an internal fuse in them. Okay. Oop. Why don't you, what do you do, slide down, do you? You must come off. There it goes. Okay. Whoops, dropped another screw. All right. So, let's move it down a bit. All right. That's all damp. as well. That's interesting. Alright. So we have our coffee grinder, our coffee grinder motor, and our uh, water pump. Which is not too dissimilar to a um, like a dishwasher pump in some cases. I have a suspicion we had a water leak in this. And I reckon, because it's all, that's all damp in there. It's all very damp actually. So this is like one of these solenoid pumps, right? Like a uh, membrane pump. Because um, as you see the water comes in, uh, where does it go? It goes into here, 
it's thrusted around into here, goes here and then goes out the back in through the heat exchanger, which is in here and it looks like everything runs on 12 volt, um, 240 volt, which means there'll be a transformer right up the front for um, the logic display be like a 12 volt transformer basically so you've got your little water pump thing here so there's your there's your tank all right it goes up and around comes out of here goes into here goes through here into here and then up to the front so it's damp in that corner I wonder if water got into this let me just go and grab a torch and we'll see. All right, I've got a torch here. It's just the phone, really. But I'm in a really bad position here because I can't actually... I don't know if you guys can... Guys can't actually see it properly. Let me zoom in to where I'm looking. So this is where your water comes in here, right? So it goes up and around into the bottom of this valve gets pushed out of this valve, up and around, through this um, what's this, the ARS uh, what is it? 70 watt heater I'm trying, but I can see water, evidence of water underneath the inlet pipe, just let me just reorganise a couple of things, hang on alright, just had to move the camera and see I'm trying to see down in under there to try and find out what's going on uh, I think I, I think I now know I think I now know what's happened here there's your grinder motor oh, I just can't actually see what I'm looking at here but so there's the grinder motor, all right, that's for your grinder. And you got your, I think that's, two twenty to two forty, fifty to sixty hertz, seventy watts. Might be the water heater there. There's no evidence of. Oh, yes, there is. That's all melted. I'll bring the camera up. That's all melted, I think. I reckon we've got a water leak under pressure out of one of these water pipes. Let me zoom you out. So, and there's definitely little signs of bits of water in here, but without pulling out this whole mechanism, okay, just let me look up whether that's the solenoid pump, because this says... Uh, 35 degrees C, one minute on, one and a half minutes off. That could be the water heater. In fact, that's exactly what that is because this whole area under here has got coffee dust all through it. Let me just take the camera off and I'll show you what I'm looking at. It's probably a good idea, isn't it? You can see all coffee dust in there. So that's full of coffee. All right, hang on a tick. So, there's definitely signs of water in there, I can tell you that. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's, there's water in there. So, what I think I need to do is let this sit for a little bit more but there's definitely signs of water leaking in 
I don't know why you'd have a spring there. There's a... See, theoretically, you've got a, a number of places water could leak, alright? So you've got leaking out of these two bits of rubber pipe, leaking out of this, or leaking out of here. And I reckon what's happened, because there's signs of water getting into the back of this, Actually, you know what it looks like in here is you know, signs of nicotine, but it's actually not. <laughs> um, what I think's happened, there's no model number on this thing. It's just the, what's it called again? Prima Donna class. I'm surprised there's no model number on this or anything. Is there anything on the inside? Nope, just a plastic back cover. So, what's in behind here? Is there a fuse in there anyway? See, this is what surprises me. There's no fuse. All right, there's the AC input box. Um, how does that come out? It looks like it just, I think, I think there's supposed to be a fuse up here somewhere, but you can tell that there's not. But that looks like that's all got melted. There's definitely signs of water in here, I know that. Alright, well, I think what we might have to do, um, the other half is madly studying at the moment. She uh, She's trying to get her course for further qualifications finished. Well, I, I think I found the model number. Hang on, is that it there? Uh, I think that's what it is. Strangely enough, a very small QR code on it. I think what I'm going to do, considering now we know there are signs of water in here, um, these ones, I don't believe you can hard plumb these. All right? I don't believe these ones can be hard plumbed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, it off, leave the back off it for a, a little bit longer. Uh, I can't fire it up because if it is going to throw circuits, down here in the office is on the same circuit as where the other half is in the dining room, and I don't want to aggravate the other half. All right, she is studying her head off at the moment. Um, she's under the pump to try and get this course finished um, because due to Rona uh, her course got delayed and now they need to finish the course quickly. She has two modules to do which includes four projects and on-site um, uh, what do they call it? On-site exam and that's all got to be done within the next couple of months. If this has got a fault and blows either our GFI or our main circuit that you know here in the dining room are on, um, there will be no old mate. All right, I will be in a world of hurt, and I don't want to upset the other half. She's under a lot of pressure to get her course done. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the back off this for the rest of today. All right, I'm going to leave the back off it. Um, the office is quite warm, particularly if I shut the office door, it gets very warm in here with the computers, you know, the, obviously the Dell, uh, or the Plex server, um, the main rig, and the Yamaha O2R, uh, all get, pump out a fair bit of heat, so that'll warm this room right up, um, I'm going to try and dry it out, um, but there's definitely water in here, or there has been, there are, there are signs of water, Particularly just under here. Um, it's damp. There's dampness in there as well. And this looks like it's all melted. So I can only assume we've got a crack somewhere. If 
you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking at this thing here, all right, because the water goes through this before it gets into this. And I'm wondering if that's what's broken. Because all that looks melted. So there's definitely water's got into it. Let's just, I'm intrigued. You know what? I am a little intrigued here. Let's just try something. Let's grab the multimeter again. I'm check the resistance of that. circuit what do we got 146 141.6 K ohms between active and common nothing between active and ground and if I can get it to stay on earth we have 25 K ohms between ground and earth, or common and earth. So it doesn't tell me there's a short. Okay, so with knowing now that we've got water in it, or there's been water, I think, what, what, what's the technical term these days? Water ingress, I think is how they call it now. So we've had water ingress into the back of this. But from where? The only places it can leak out of are out of here, out of here, or out of one of these pipes. And I'm, I'll need to find out what what bar or PSI this thing runs at. This Prima Donna series. Alright, I think what we'll do, we'll call this part one. I'm going to leave the back off this uh, today. I'm going to see what happens. Surprised there's no fuse in here though. That's what's I would have thought there'd be some sort of fuse right on the AC input side, but there actually is not. Let me come around the other side, hang on. So I'm a bit astounded. Ah uh, there's no fuse, there might be a fuse within this, we might have to pull this out, this whole bracket out, it comes out with uh, a screw just over here. We might just pull this out, I'm going to let this dry out for a little longer, we might pull this out, this, this AC input out uh, tomorrow and just see um, whether there's any problems. There is definitely water, there has definitely been water ingress as they call it, into the back of this, but where it's come from, I have no idea. We may have a leaky rubber pipe. Well, actually, they're not rubber, they're, they're silicone pipes. I can't see what I'm looking at, can you? There we go. These are just silicone pipes, or silicone and rubber pipes. So there's clearly been water ingress into the unit, but how it got in there, I don't know. Yes, I do. I think I've just found it. <laughs> um, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up at all. Now, there's no water in here. This is empty. But that's all nice and shiny there. 
see. I wonder if we have a busted seal on the back side of that and the water is dripping under there and it's it's come up. All right, what we'll do, we'll leave this. Um, I'm not going to turn it on just because, as I said, the other half is studying and I reckon that might be what's happened. It's been leaking. There's been a bit of water kick up and it has caused problems. All right, we'll call this part one. We'll look at this again tomorrow in part two and uh, we'll get this AC input um, AC input unit out. Um, there's a screw there that just unscrews from that. We'll get this out. That's, that's just all part of that. We'll get it out. Oh, sorry. We'll get that out. There may be a fuse in the back of this that we can have a look at. And I would have thought that if this, what theoretically what should have happened is that should have blown first before the circuit blew but it kept blowing the circuit which concerns me that there's no fuse in this but anyway there we go alrighty well we'll leave the back off this for another 24 hours we'll come back to it tomorrow and uh, if the other half is not studying we'll power this up because if I blow a circuit it's not so bad but if I blow a circuit right now yeah my life is going to be uh, very very bad Alrighty, that's it for Weekend Saturdays, guys. I'll catch you around the channel tomorrow for Weekend Sundays. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.